today we are looking at one of the most powerful, intimidating, and outright deadly weapon combos in Halo 5. So let's look at the noob combo and figure out why it dominates on the battlefield. Seriously. As most of you already know, this weapon combo uses a plasma pistol and a precision weapon such as a magnum or BR. The idea is to charge up the plasma pistol, fire the charge shot at an enemy to strip their shields, and then switch to your precision weapon for a quick headshot kill. In other words, a quick charge DMP to break the shield, and a quick headshot to drop the target. Now the real question is how fast and how strong is this? Well, let's find out. To keep things simple and focused, let's pair the plasma pistol with the magnum and hone in on this particular noob combo. The magnum's time to kill is 1.3 seconds with a 5 shot perfect. It takes 4 shots to break the shield and 1 final headshot to get the kill. In other words, to get that 1.3 second TTK, you need to land 4 consecutive shots to break the shield and then 1 final headshot. It is straightforward, but in gunfights with enemies strafing and hopping around and shit, it can be hard and definitely gets more difficult as player skill increases. As a result, those 5 shots may turn into 6 or 7 or maybe even 8 depending if you miss 1, 2 or 3 shots respectively. Now enter the bitch ass plasma pistol. This gun has a hip fire red reticle range of 30.5 meters and a smart link red reticle range of 91.09 meters. Within these red reticle ranges a charged DMP shot will track your target. So if you charge up your plasma pistol and aim at an enemy you have about 91 meters of tracking capability. And an easy shield break. An easy shield break compared to landing 4 consecutive shots with a magnum. Now assuming your enemy doesn't know notice you or doesn't properly time his thrust to evade the EMP, you will break their shield guaranteed. Man like we've all used a charged plasma pistol before, it's easy squeezy, lemon peasy, not that difficult. But anyway, within this particular noob combo, plasma pistol plus magnum, using the charged EMP to break the shield replaces 4 potentially difficult magnum shots. Then all you really need to do is switch to your magnum and land the final precision headshot to kill the enemy. In other words, for your magnum, you've just decreased the amount of shots you need to land from 5 to just 1 by incorporating the plasma EMP. Now in my opinion that's pretty awesome, but is it worth it? Using my advanced Azoli analytical powers, let's look at the numbers. Again, if you just use the magnum, its perfect 5 shot TTK is 1.3 seconds. So keep that number in mind as we move forward. Now unlike the magnum, whose TTK does not change with distance because it is a hit scan weapon, the plasma the plasma pistol is projectile based and that will affect the TTK of the noob combo. In other words, the noob combo TTK will increase as distance increases. Insert asterisk here. Now the noob combo TTK depends on a few factors, EMP charge time, EMP travel time and weapon switch time to the precision weapon, in this case the magnum, but to a certain distance. Anyway to keep things simple and not confuse the hell out of people, I went ahead and calculated some of the noob combo TTKs at different distances from 0 to 50 meters. So for an uncharged plasma pistol noob combo, these are the TTK numbers. Now from 0 to 20 meters, the TTK is dependent on the plasma EMP charge time which is 0.9 seconds and switch time from the plasma pistol to the magnum which is 0.33 seconds and this remains a constant because the EMP travel time is faster than the switch time within these distances thus the TTK is unchanged. Confused yet? Good, we're only getting started. Now from 30 to 50 meters, the TTK numbers are still dependent on the EMP charge time of 0.9 seconds, but now instead of the 0.33 second weapon switch time, the EMP travel time plays a key role. In other words, due to the EMP projectile velocity, which is 61.74 meters per second, you will actually have to wait until the EMP reaches your enemy to break the shield, which takes longer than the 0.33 second switch time, thus the increasing TTK. Are you confused even more? Grand, cause it's gonna get even more confusing. Nah, don't worry, we're gonna make sense of this pretty quickly. Either way, these are pretty solid TTK numbers for an uncharged noob combo. From 0 to 20 meters, you got a 1.23 second TTK, which is 0 0.07 seconds faster than the Magnum's 1.3 second TTK. And then from 30 to 50 meters, the TTK keeps increasing with distance for the reasons I just explained. But oh man, we are not done, cause this right here, this might 
might not look pretty good stacked up to the magnum's 1.3 second ttk but we're about to be enlightened those were the uncharged noob combo ttks so now let's look at the charged ttks in other words we pre-charge the plasma pistol emp before firing at an enemy which is essentially what most of us do when in gunfights and using the noob combo we pre-charge the emp and then blast some unsuspecting fools or should i say clueless noobs so the same TTK calculation concept as before for distances and time dependencies except now we remove the required 0.9 second charge time from our noob combo since we are pre-charging our plasma pistol and behold just look at those beautiful numbers that is frightening the noob combo TTK from 0 to 20 meters is 0.33 seconds bruh that's some call of duty shit right there fast as hell then at 30 meters we have 0.5 49 seconds at 40 meters 0.64 seconds and at 50 meters 0.81 seconds so even at those long ranges the kill times are absolutely disgusting now let's compare these to the magnum's perfect ttk of 1.3 seconds yeah this is just pure domination it speaks for itself at just how powerful this combo really is this right here is why the noob combo destroys because it's a relatively easy weapon combo you have tracking up to 91 meters with the plasma emp and the damn ttks are just insane consistently even at mid to long ranges not to mention you also have the emp stun effect against vehicles which if memory serves me right lasts about three seconds anyway man i just think numbers are awesome and the noob combo if you look at it in details and by the numbers you really see at just how insane and crazy this combination really is just look at that 0.81 second kill time at 50 meters bruh realistically if you use the noob combo then literally nothing has a chance against you except maybe power weapons or somebody gets the drop on you but yeah these ttks are crazy so use them to your advantage anyway hopefully this shines some light on why the noob combo is such a powerful tactic if you've ever avoided the plasma pistol or just never bothered to pick it up then maybe now you will reconsider next time you play don't pass up on easy kills man take the opportunity to kick some ass and acquire the power spartans acquired the power of the noob combo and use it to dominate as always thank you for watching and until next time